Position determines leadership. Leadership is the same as management. Leaders are born, not made. These are the common misconceptions about leadership. You do not need to hold a formal leadership position to be a leader. For example, in schools, every teacher could be a leader regardless of their position. And while many leaders do have certain management tasks and their job description, a successful leader does not only manage the organization and ensure the tasks are done, but also helps the people they are working with feel valued and supported. While it's true that some people are natural-born leaders, most people develop their leadership skills by learning, observing, and growing. They seek guidance from their mentors and pursue the role with patience, focus, and insights from leadership experts. Good day everyone, I am Hilger Ojos Taraya, EDDLM student of Sorsogon State University School of Graduate Studies and Head Teacher 1 designated as School Head in the Department of Education, Schools Division of Sorsogon. In my 12 years in the public service, I've witnessed how teachers could grow into leaders from their classrooms to school community and even beyond. Recognizing these possibilities, I started exploring teacher leadership and studied its potential in sustaining the development of the learners, teachers, and the school as a whole. And now I am going to present to you my recent study, The Challenges and Opportunities for Teacher Leaders in Public Schools in Sorsogon Province. The researcher's purpose is not to generate generalization specifically on teachers' views, competence, and performance, but to gather and analyze the prevailing issues and concerns evident in the locale of the study. Teacher leadership is not a new concept, and several studies have been conducted about it. However, no exact definition, scope, and requirements have been established yet. In the U.S. and most parts of Asia, teacher leadership is commonly viewed as the power of shared vision and collaboration. Teacher leaders collectively work to strengthen the profession, but leadership is not only cultivated by individuals, it is built and supported by the system. Who are teacher leaders? Teacher leaders are teachers who may or may not have formal leadership positions, who responds to opportunities to actively influence teaching and learning through collaboration with colleagues, and have taken on leadership roles and additional professional and decision-making responsibilities. Why teacher leadership? The Institute for Educational Leadership affirms that students learn best when they have high-quality teachers. Research also proves that quality teaching results in quality learning. Indeed, teachers are vital resources for education. They have the power of empowering and transforming learners to become productive citizens. Over time, teachers' roles have evolved from being classroom teachers in charge of instructions to more complex functions such as performing administrative and leadership roles in schools, hence the birth of teacher leadership. Teachers' leadership often focuses on three themes, participation in decision-making, collaboration with colleagues, and excellence in teaching. However, the need to sustain high-quality teachers in order to promote student learning is more difficult in practice. Moreover, the recognition of teachers' role and profession varies in the eyes of the public. 
The Barclay Foundation revealed that in many countries, teachers no longer retain the elevated status that they used to enjoy. Over time, this declining respect for teachers will weaken teaching, weaken learning, damage the learning opportunities, and ultimately weaken societies around the world. Hence, it is important to emphasize the crucial role of teachers in educational transformation. In the Philippines, education policies have placed education in an era of high accountability, teacher competence, and student achievement. This promoted school-based management as a system of empowering the school to provide leadership. It widened decision-making and redefined the role of the school heads for higher learning outcomes. This resulted in empowering teachers to perform other tasks in addition to their regular duties as classroom teacher. Moreover, education faces various challenges. The teaching career still has a reputation of being an underpaid and seldom recognized profession. Reports have also indicated the existence of several issues including corruption within the education system, insufficient teaching and learning facilities, and most of the provisions of the Magna Carta for public school teachers have yet to be enforced. Among all this, teachers face the societal conviction that learners' performance is directly associated with teachers' skills and competencies. Long-term discussions have been existing on these arguments and this greatly affect the morale of faculty and staff. Furthermore, some school heads stay in the same school for one to three years only. Then they could be reassigned to another school. Former DepEd Secretary Luistro admitted that the fast turnover of principals in schools have resulted in the failure to fully implement great and promising endeavors. Therefore, since most teachers stay in the same school longer than the school head, it is, it is a must to equip and empower them with leadership skills and opportunities. Hence, the researcher sees that it is worthwhile to determine the potential and visibility of teacher leadership by identifying the challenges encountered and the emerging opportunities for teacher leaders. Specifically, know the responsibilities designated to the teacher leaders aside from their regular teaching loads, identify the challenges they encounter, know the emerging opportunities for them, and suggest action steps in overcoming the challenges in teacher leadership to maximize opportunities. And now I am going to present to you my recent study, The Challenges and Opportunities for Teacher Leaders in Public Schools in Sorsogon Province. The researcher's purpose is not to generate generalization, specifically on teachers' views, competence, and performance, but to gather and analyze the prevailing issues and concerns evident in the locale of the study. This study employed a qualitative method of research, specifically phenomenological investigation. The primary source of data was the responses of five public school teachers in the division of source of one, considered teacher leaders in their respective schools. They were selected through purposive sampling technique. The selection of participants was based on the privacy study in 2020, the characteristics and practices of teacher leaders. An interview schedule was developed to determine the challenges encountered and emerging opportunities for teacher leaders in public schools. This tool employed an open-ended strategy through a semi-structured interview format. The data were analyzed using descriptive statistics, specifically thematic analysis using inductive and deductive coding. The researcher established predetermined themes based on the previous study. Three out of ten predetermined themes were associated in the responses of the participants, and two new main themes surfaced from the responses of the participants in the present study. Again, this study determined the responsibilities designated to teacher leaders aside from their regular teaching loads, identified the challenges they encountered, it also cited the emerging opportunities for them, and suggested action steps in overcoming these challenges and to maximize opportunities for them.
Now let us begin the discussion of the results. The first objective is to know the designated responsibilities to the teacher leaders aside from their regular teaching loads. The table shows that the current Pantilla position of all participants is teacher 3. This means that their roles are focused on teaching, learning, and classroom management. However, because of their leadership skills, relationship with colleagues, and exemplary classroom management, their school heads assign them to different administrative roles and ancillary services in addition to their regular duties. This is the usual practice in understaffed schools. Although teacher leadership is not yet formally introduced and recognized in the Philippines, many teachers exemplify and practice teacher leadership. The challenges encountered by teacher leaders were determined through interviews. I was able to establish predetermined themes based on the previous study. The said themes were considered to confirm whether these challenges were truly prevalent among teacher leaders. Three out of these ten themes were associated with the responses of the participants. These are difficulty in managing and harmonizing classroom and other functions or roles, the existence of isolation and or seniority issues within the teaching profession, and third, lack of incentives or recognition for engaging in leadership activities. Moreover, the responses revealed two new themes, lack of leadership training and inadequate support and resources to carry out leadership roles, and uncertain opportunities for promotion of teacher leaders. These challenges encountered by teacher leaders do not only impact their professional lives, but also affect their personal and day-to-day -day living. The succeeding discussions present the challenges encountered and their impact on the lives of the participants on professional and personal levels. All participants cited difficulty in managing time and overlapping school activities as major challenges of being a teacher leader. One teacher leader claimed that it is very difficult to meet deadlines. As a result, reports and tasks assigned to him are sometimes submitted or carried out late, while all participants shared that they need to work overtime, that is, after work hours and weekends, just to finish the reports and tasks assigned to them. Three admitted that they are already experiencing too much stress, compromising their health and time for self and for family. One participant shared, Trying to complete the school works in a day is very difficult. We were already exhausted and the pandemic is making it even more difficult. Before we only have to prepare lessons for one modality that is face-to-face, -face, now we have to prepare for distance learning as well because of blended learning. My time for my daughter is also sacrificed because I have to print modules and accomplish school forms and reports even at home. These responses are also evident in the study of Ancho and Bongpo in 2019. The teachers find it a challenge to complete mandated tasks within the 8-hour workday and all participants unanimously believe that the said time is not enough to accomplish everything that has to be done. Moreover, teachers show the frustration that the workload, especially the related task, tends to be competing with the time that should have been spent teaching the students. Teachers claim that while the core function of teachers is to teach, they believe that they were not able to discharge this duty as they should because of the pressing deadlines. The second challenge encountered by teacher leaders is the existence of isolation and or seniority issues within the teaching profession. Three out of five participants expressed their hesitations in performing the task assigned to them when dealing with teachers considered seniors in service. Although they feel that they have leadership skills and innovative minds, they are sometimes discredited and ignored by certain groups of teachers 
and one participant admitted that she often experienced being isolated because of the seniority attitude of some teachers under her supervision, being the grade level coordinator. Teacher Leader 3 shared, Sometimes in decision making, a senior teacher would reject my decision. Since she is older than me, the majority will just agree, then my decisions are overruled. I don't like to think much about it, but I feel like they are always waiting for me to fail. I can sense by the way they are treating me, said Teacher Leader 4. Sometimes I want to resign from my designations, but I always want to be productive, and I like it when I can contribute to the school, said Teacher Leader 5. It can be inferred from the responses that instead of support, teacher leaders sometimes feel isolated and undermined by other teachers. They sometimes hesitate to perform their task because of the feelings of uncertainty. The third challenge encountered by teacher leaders is lack of incentives or recognition for engaging in leadership activities. Teacher leadership empowers teachers. One is motivation to lead and incentives can provide various sources of motivation. But the teacher leaders, recognition of their colleagues and principals was motivating for them more than the pay or prizes as incentives. However, three teacher leaders expressed dismay because sometimes their efforts and initiatives are not recognized, but when things go wrong, they are the ones to take the blame. The Center for Comprehensive School Reform and Improvement stated that the lack of incentives for engaging in leadership activities has shown to impede the development of teacher leaders. The Philippine education system lacks incentives and motivation for teacher leaders who perform leadership roles which prohibits them from stepping up as leaders. And the findings of Gabriel supports the idea that only through recognition of their leadership capabilities can teachers have maximum impact on student achievement and school success. The fourth challenge encountered by teacher leaders is lack of leadership training and inadequate support and resources to carry out leadership functions. The participants unanimously agreed that they could carry out their functions better if they are to attend leadership training and if resources are adequately provided. All the participants in this study have not attended leadership training yet. Moreover, they are all experiencing inadequate support and provision of school resources needed for teaching, learning, and performance of their additional duties. I have been the school guidance counselor designate for almost two years now, but aside from gut orientation, I haven't attended any training relevant to learner psychosocial support yet. I recently finished my master's degree, but it did, it did not help much because guidance counseling is not in line with my specialization. I think I was only chosen because of my classroom management skills and healthy relationship with students, shared by Teacher Leader 5. I am supply officer and member of the school inspection team. However, I was not sent to attend relevant training, so I just asked for guidance from my school head and supply officers from other schools, said Teacher Leader 2. Therefore, professional development should be prioritized if teachers were to lead the improvement of the school and the student learning in their instantaneous roles as teachers and leaders. Aligado mentioned in his study that the inadequacy of professional development training and programs across the system could also be the root of the displeasure and may be part of the reason why some teachers lack confidence and made them shy away from practicing leadership duties. The fifth challenge encountered by teacher leaders is uncertain opportunities for promotion of teacher leaders. Teacher Leader 4 shared, I am a teacher for more than 10 years now. I finished my master's degree six years ago, but I am still in the teacher's position. 
I thought my education qualifications increased my chance of promotion. However, I am only given more designations but no increase in salary. The teachers 1, 2, and 3. The requirements for master teacher promotions are difficult to meet, even if a teacher is assigned to several designations and graduated or earned units in masters, if the number of teachers in a specific specialization in a school is not enough, a teacher will not be promoted. Teachers 2 and Teacher Leader 5 shared, Some school heads designate tasks to teachers even if it is not in line with their specialization. When this happens, the teachers cannot use their earned credentials for promotion. Oftentimes, they are not recognized by the ranking committee. Despite the improvement in the process and promotion guidelines, teachers still find it very difficult to be promoted. In the Philippines, teachers can be promoted through two different career tracks. One is the school administration track, or the second is the master teacher career under the classroom teaching track. To Alegado, this can serve as a hindrance to teacher leadership because these policies do not encourage teacher leadership and these policies discourage those with leadership potential but without further academic qualifications or teachers who can lead but no incentives. Also, teachers do not enjoy ample support from such policies. Hence, the lack of, of opportunities for professional growth is a source of frustration to some teacher leaders. No specific leadership training programs are facilitated yet that could expose teachers to school leadership. We are now on the third part of the discussion, the emerging opportunities for teacher leaders. The responses reflect why the participants are really considered teacher leaders. They have acquired the knowledge, skills, and attitudes necessary in leading fellow teachers and contributing to the school's success. That is why, despite the challenges they encounter, teacher leaders are hopeful of the opportunities coming their way. Their current roles serve as spring springboard to further personal and professional growth. Teacher Leader 2 shared, Because of my designations, I am able to enhance self-management, improve my work ethics, and maintain motivation to work under pressure. Also, Teacher Leader 1, My decision-making and problem-solving skills improved. My co-teachers trust my suggestions when there are issues and problems in the classroom and school, I was also given the chance to speak during the school conferences and training. The participants see teacher leadership as an opportunity to contribute to the school's success. More than taking charge, they consider their designations as being the voice of teachers in decision-making, an opportunity for personal and professional development, and motivation to perform better. Teacher Leader 5 said, Of course, I want to be promoted to increase my salary. But if it is really not possible at the moment, it is okay for me. Despite the challenges, I enjoy being a leader, my school head involves me in decision-making, and I represent my co-teachers and learners, so I already have a sense of fulfillment. Teacher leadership helps teachers to advance in the profession in one of two career tracks. It could be school administration or leadership or classroom teaching. A teacher may eventually be promoted as principal following the school administration career track or as a master teacher under the teaching career track. Moreover, it is also possible for them to branch out from what they already know and expand upon the expertise they have already gained. 
It could be transitioning to a new role entirely or simply enhancing their duties while remaining in the classroom with their students. The following are the possible career path for teacher leaders, specialist roles, department head, college instructor or professor, administrative positions, researcher, curriculum developers, and community builders. Participants share their strategies for overcoming the barriers and challenges of teacher leadership, such as having positive mindset produce positive results. In accepting the responsibilities, one must anticipate challenges and in doing so, rewarding results such as self-resiliency and accountability are also expected. Ask for help. Accept that in times of challenges, one needs help and support. Be proactive. Prepare for challenges and opportunities that may come. Look at every possible outcome and anticipate risk and failures. Expose self to learning opportunities to maintain active and decisive mind. Be consistent with actions. Focus on tasks and the organization's goals, not only on personal ambition. Be patient. Do not entertain negativity. Work with genuine intention. Focus on learners and trust that all efforts are worthwhile. And manage time and be flexible. These strategies are related to the suggestion cited by National Comprehensive Center for Teacher Quality to encourage teacher leadership. First, value and respect the role and work of teacher leaders. Second, embrace change and allow data-driven, research-based risk-taking. Third, provide affirmation for teacher leadership tasks. Fourth, promote and facilitate collaboration. Fifth, Provide technical support for teacher leaders. Sixth, empower teachers in their leadership tasks. And seventh, involve faculty in decision making. Teachers' roles are focused on teaching, learning, and classroom management. But because of their leadership skills, good relationships with colleagues, and exemplary classroom management, their school heads assign them to different administrative roles and ancillary services in addition to their regular teaching loads. Hence, they are considered teacher leaders. The participants in this study are considered teacher leaders in their respective schools. In carrying out their leadership roles, the participants encounter several challenges, but they still consider teacher leadership as an opportunity to contribute to the school's success. More than taking charge, they consider their designations as being the voice of teachers in decision-making and an opportunity for personal and professional development. Also, they are motivated to perform better. Teacher leaders have acquired the knowledge, skills, and attitudes necessary in leading fellow teachers and contributing to the school's success. That is why, despite the challenges they encounter, Teacher leaders are hopeful for the opportunities coming their way and their current role serve as a springboard to further personal and professional growth. Based on the result of this inquiry, the following strategies adapted from the National Comprehensive Center for Teacher Quality are recommended by the researcher to mitigate the impact of the challenges of teacher leadership. Strategy 1. Improve the school workforce. Hire more teaching and non-teaching personnel. Delegate tasks equitably and consider the teacher's specialization, skills, and potential in delegating tasks. Strategy 2. Formally introduce and recognize the importance of teacher leadership. Strategy 3. Establish teacher leadership training and development programs. Strategy 4. Support and create opportunities for teacher leaders. Strategy 5. Build professional learning communities or PLCs. And Strategy 6. Encourage professionalism and healthy faculty and staff relationships. Every teacher is a leader. Leadership is demonstrated in several ways. 
Some leadership roles are formal with designated responsibilities from the school head and informal which is manifested in their practices that have impact inside the classroom and the school in general. These varieties of roles ensure the teachers can find ways to lead that fit their talents and strategies. Regardless of the roles they assume, teacher leaders that do their practices with passion and good character shape the culture of their schools, improve student learning and achievement, and influence practice among their peers. Teacher leaders' roles are seldom well-defined. At present, there is no structured system for teacher leadership in the Philippines. In fact, it is not known to many yet. But teacher leadership practices are now evident in schools, although it is not yet recognized as a certain program. Therefore, teacher leaders need support to overcome challenges and barriers created by the norms of school culture. So, be the voice of your learners and fellow teachers. Share your vision and aspirations with your school head, and together, Make a difference. Be a teacher leader.